sorry. I, you just saw me roll my eyes. <laughs> I'm the shady one in the test kitchen, but you guys all know that right now. This is my first turkey recipe for VA. I was told that it should be fairly traditional, classic. Two words that I hate. Only because I don't know exactly what that means, but I think in the Thanksgiving setting, I get it. It's like, no tandoori turkey this year. Not my mother's pomegranate yogurt turkey. No turkey chakrut, although that's really great. Okay, so we have a turkey that is about probably around 14 pounds and removed all the kind of insides and we're just gonna do a dry brine. We love a dry brine just because it makes for a really uh, crisp skin. It's also just less of a mess than doing a wet brine. A dry brine always consists of salt. This is half a cup of kosher salt and a tablespoon of brown sugar. So I'm just gonna combine this by pinching my fingers this is probably enough brine for anywhere from like a 12 to 14 pound turkey. And I'm just gonna season it really liberally all over. And I'm sprinkling and kind of pressing it into the skin. I prefer dry brine over a wet brine because it's less messy. Uh, with a wet brine, you're kind of looking for some kind of an enormous uh, pot of source or even a, uh, what's it called? What? Cooler, yeah, so cool. I'm like, did not grow up with those, believe it or not. I'm gonna flip this bird over. Okay, I'm gonna flip it, flip it back. I'm gonna season the cavity lightly. And there you have it. We're gonna place this in the fridge, uncovered, so the skin kind of uh, dries out and we get a nice brown skin on top. We pulled the turkey out. Uh, I cleaned the rim baking sheet and then lined the rim baking sheet with uh, three layers of foil. The reason why I take the turkey out and let it rest for three hours is so that it can cook more evenly in the oven. Uh, it's also gonna cut the cooking time. And then I'm just gonna smear this with a good amount of butter. I'm using a stick of butter, unsalted. You already have the salt from the dry brine. I'm just gonna use my hands. There's nothing pretty about this. Um, and that's that. I'm just gonna try to separate the skid between the breast meat, like so. You see how far I'm going? Should have been a plastic surgeon. I love that show, Nip Tuck. Awful, trashy show. But what did I know? So I want to put about four tablespoons of butter between the skin and the breast meat. Two tablespoons per breast, and just kind of push it all over like that. It's like putting toothpaste back into the tube. Is it? Who does that, though? No one. I'm going to take the remaining butter, and I'm going to just spread it all over on top. Try to get through all the kind of little nicks and crannies. Nooks and crannies, nicks and crannies. ESL. I'm gonna put some butter on the back. Next, I'm gonna take the wings and just tuck them under like that. And this is just so the wing tips don't brown. Next, I'm just gonna tie the legs together using some twine. I'm gonna pour one cup of water just to prevent any kind of burning happening from the drippings. And we have an oven at 450. This is gonna go in the center rack for 30 minutes where it's gonna to start to brown. And then we'll turn it down to 300. This glaze that is just kind of at the flavors that I want on my turkey this year. It's a really simple glaze and uh, you kind of combine everything together, let it simmer until it slightly thickens. Uh, so first things first, I'm just gonna add a quarter cup cherry vinegar, four teaspoons Worcestershire sauce, and two tablespoons honey. So this is actually double the amount of uh, glaze, just because I wanted to make sure I was a little paranoid. That's me, I'm just a paranoid person. That's what this city does to you. I'm gonna do four cloves of garlic, give them a slight smash, pop them out. Four sprigs of rosemary, two orange peels. You could just throw this in, but I'm gonna just kind of tie it together so it's easier to fish out. All right, you got this going and we're just gonna place this over medium heat. You're also gonna add a stick of butter and you're gonna cook this down until it starts to foam and slightly thicken. This is gonna go for about five minutes, still have medium heat. Oh, we're gonna, okay. It's been 15 minutes, we're just gonna rotate the turkey. Oh, 
and let that go for another 15. Okay, so this has been about five minutes. I turned to the low. I'm just gonna remove it off heat. We're gonna pull our bird out. So, see, it's just golden. It's not golden brown yet. We're gonna turn the oven down to 300 degrees. I do 300, sometimes some people do 350. I just wanna go really low and slow with this turkey. So I'm gonna glaze this bird a bit. We're gonna glaze it a few times while it's roasting. We're gonna turn the turkey back in the oven. So we're gonna let that bird go for about 60 to 80 minutes, depending on the size of your bird. And we're gonna glaze it every 30 minutes, so another two times. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. We're gonna glaze this turkey again. Ah, it's already getting a really nice color. It was a little spotty, the browning in the beginning. With the glaze, it kind of helps even that out. This bird's gonna go in for another 30, maybe 45 minutes, but really, don't focus too much on the time. The best way to tell when your turkey's done is by using a thermo pan and uh, taking the temperature, which I'll show you when the turkey comes back out of the oven. Okay, I'm gonna check on the bird. It's browning really nicely. Ah, uh, <laughs> how do you like that, Martha Stewart? No, I really like Martha Stewart. I wanna, I wanna see her, meet her, cook with her. I check the breast and go to the thickest part, just around here. I don't want to hit the bone though, and so it's going about 145. We're going to let it go for another five degrees. We wanted to hit 150 the breast. Some people are going to say, no, oh, it should be 165. It's when we remove it at 150, it's going to sit and rise, and you're going to have the tastiest, juiciest breast you've ever had. We're going to glaze this one more time. I remember I was talking about like the time when I was stretching the skin between the the breast meat and the skin. I thought about this like face that I make for some reason. I don't know how it got started, but it's my plastic surgery face. It's like this. And I have lips, but I don't know. It's something to do with Kylie, Kylie Jenner, one of the Kardashians. They just, uh... I'm gonna check in after another 15 minutes, 10 minutes, actually just to make sure. And once the breast uh, reaches 150 on the thermopen, we're ready to go. Okay, we're going to check on our bird. Ah, look at that. I'm gonna take the temp one more time. I'm gonna go over the thickest part of the breast, 151. That's pretty good. I'm gonna transfer it over so we can rest on the cutting board. So what I like to do is just kind of lift the turkey up, tilt it, get the juices from the cavity out. If you have two metal spoons, or just do what I'm doing. Tongs up the turkey's butt, and then a wooden spoon to do that. And you can let this rest for, depending on the size of your turkey, this is like a little over 14 pounds for 45 minutes, even up to an hour. It's still gonna be warm. Okay, the bird's been resting for 30 minutes. If I had all the time in the world, it would rest for an hour. I don't got time, I got a lot of other stuff to do. I'm gonna take this twine off. I'm gonna have the legs facing me and I'm just gonna cut the leg off. I like the dark meat. And really, I kind of just treat this as like a big, a big chicken. And I hold it down. You could use a kitchen towel, that's probably better. And I kind of just pop it, the leg out. Oof, that's hot. And then, Separating the thigh and the breast. I'm gonna wash my hands. Is it waterproof the Google Pixel? I wish I had some gravy. We have a really good gravy recipe this year. I developed it. Uh, don't they sell these at like circus things? Renaissance fair. Renaissance fair, yeah. Super delicious. The meat is really flavorful. It's seasoned well. You get this sweet, savory glaze on top. I mean, it's crazy. There's only a few ingredients in that glaze, but it perfumes the whole bird. It gives it a beautiful, deep uh, mahogany color. And this is one of the easier, if not the easiest, turkey recipe you'll make. And um, I hope it'll become a go-to staple uh, for your holiday season. 
that's pretty good.